Designers and welcome back to Design School for WordPress Beginners. In this video, I want to show you how you can add animations to your dull static website. In order to add animation to your website using Elementor, your website, your pages, your posts or your custom post types need to be built with Elementor. Well, that's pretty common and let's see how we can achieve that using Elementor's built-in feature. The first way to add animations to any section, column or any widget is to use entrance animations built right into Elementor. Well, if you don't know what and how to add entrance animations, it's simple. Just click on any column, section or a widget, head over to advanced and you can find a label called entrance animation and under that you can pick any type of animation you want and it will be previewed on your preview screen onto the right and you can also set the animation duration and animation delay which means when the animation should start so if you enter the delay as 1000 milliseconds it will start after 1000 milliseconds and as the name suggests these are entrance animations so these will be triggered when the user scrolls to this particular section or the element so if I add an if I add an entrance animation to this section, let's say I add an entrance animation like zooming in. This will only take place when I scroll to that particular section. As I've already scrolled through that particular section, it won't be previewed. But you can always refresh the page and preview the animation. And these animations are really good because they'll only happen once and they don't put a lot of load on your website and most importantly they're built with coding standards so they won't put any overload on your server too and they're built into Elementor you can use it no matter if you're using Elementor free version or the pro version so make sure you add entrance animations to columns sections and whichever you desire and make sure you mix and match alternate columns and widgets and you can achieve pretty much subtle animations using this. So the second way to add animations is using fe features called on hover animations. So when you scroll down and click on advanced under background you can find two tabs called normal and hover. So you can specify how normally the background should look like and how it should change when you hover over it so if i say i want my background to be pink when i hover over it you can clearly see that so when i hover over this the background will be animated to pink and i can also specify the transition duration you can also set a background image to this and in order to make it more dramatic you can maybe pick a different color here so it changes from green to pink when I hover over this and you can apply the same effect to border as well so I can change the border of any widget using this so here I don't have any border and I want some border when I hover over this so I'll put solid here and I want my border to be of 2 pixels and I want the color of the border to be black so let's see how that looks see that that instantly added a bit more personality to the animation. So these are the two common features that you can use with both free and paid version. Few other element of widgets such as the button widget and the image widget have few animations built right under the style tab. So when I click on this button widget and when I hover over to this style tab, you can see there are two labels called normal and hover so you can add animations using this so you can maybe change the typography as well and you can change the text color when you hover over this so as you can see it changes the background color to blue and the text color to black and you can also add animation so it shrinks there and there are there's also image 
widget with which you can achieve few few other animations so under normal you can normally see the image and you can add a hover animation to it so you can click on the style tab click on the hover tab and you can maybe change the opacity a bit so it's partially visible and you can also add css filter such as blur so you can see how that looks and you can also add animations so this is the third way of adding animations to few other elements and widgets in elementor page builder last but certainly not the least and perhaps the best way to add animations to your wordpress website is to add elementor widgets that are built for animations so there are few widgets in elementor that are built for animations and the first one i want to talk, talk about is animated headline so you might have seen this animated headline on many pages and you can change the type of animation here so you can see it changes you can also change the text you can also add after text and and this type of widget is common in marketing websites where they advertise certain features by using this so it's pretty handy and it's called animated headline i think it's a pro widget so i recommend you go get the elementor pro version in order for this to work and the second widget that i want to talk about is the flip box widget and the next widget that you can use to achieve animation is called flip box widget so type for flip box drag into it and you can see there are a lot of settings that you can change for the front and the back and maybe you can include a background for the back portion and you can now see how that looks and you can also change the type of animation so that slides in right there and that adds a bit more personality and interest to it you can also change the height and also the border radius so that will make this particular flip box widget look rounded so it's kind of neat can preview how that looks you can also also add various animations for front and back you can change the border type and all that stuff using this flip box widget and the next widget that will help you add animations to your website is called call to action widget so this is highly popular with marketing websites when they ask you to choose something so you can have something like this highlighted and <clears throat> maybe animate it a bit you can also add a ribbon to create that user interest so that will look like this and you can also add few more animations such as changing the color animation change it to black you can also change the button color i'll change this to pink too and you can see how that looks and the next set of widgets are the carousel widgets so there are a lot of carousel widgets available in elementor and you can drag any one of them and add various items to the menu such as images videos you 
can choose each one of them and let me settle with two here I'll remove all the rest of them you can also change the type of animation you can also change the height you can also change the width and there are few more additional options so you can hide the arrows and dots if you want if that's how you want so these slide widgets will animate automatically and that's how you add a lot of cool animations to your wordpress website using a lot of features built right into elementor and there are other ways of adding animations using custom css and maybe by using a plugin so we'll talk about that in the next video so stay tuned for that until then make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for all the amazing goodies and stuff coming in the near future i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace